again today, hitting a new all-time record high. Meanwhile, gold, so-called poor cousin silver, not looking so poor these days, trading just shy of $40. In fact, silver's at a 31-year high, up an astonishing 116% over the past year. So what's going on here? Why are investors flocking to these precious metals? Here now for a real-time breakdown, we have CNBC contributor John Kilduff. He's a partner at Again Capital. John, gold and silver. Yes, Larry, good evening. And uh, whether, you, whether it's uh, countries' instability because of political issues or financial issues, uh, whether it's easy, hyper-easy money policy, QE1, QE2, uh, whether it's inflation that's starting to creep into the system, whether you believe in the Mayan calendar and it's 2012 next year, uh, the sum of all those fears is being incorporated into the price of gold and silver. As, these, as investors run from currency to currency and find no refuge, they continue to come back to gold and silver, making new records, as you said today, the silver 21 year high, gold a nominal high. I would point out the inflation adjusted is around $2,300. Uh, but again, because there's no place else for people to feel safe about putting their money, these are the only stores of value in the market. And also, I'd like to point out too, Brent crude oil back on the boil again today as well. Falling dollar hitting it and propping it up higher. More instability in Libya among the issues. Larry? You know, John, I love this. Silver is the poor cousin to gold. Silver has been a monetary metal, redeemable for money, throughout American history until the last 40 or 50 years. We were on a gold standard and a silver standard. So silver is the same inflation hedge as gold, if you ask me. Now, I'm with you on that, Larry, too. And don't forget as well, now with the advent of ETFs and other alternative investment vehicles, the poor man can get in on the poor man's metal much more easily than he could in the past. Uh, so that, that's helping things out as well. But also don't forget about the industrial component to, to silver. Uh, but, but again, you're right. It's undervalued uh, relative to gold for the past year or so. It start, it's finally catching up. But yes, it's still got plenty of room to go. They're talking 40, 50 cents an ounce soon. Soon. John Gilda, thank you ever so much.